This is Mary at the Mary LTA, and this is an unlisted project stream. I need to adjust my camera a little bit here. Let me go do that, get rid of this area down here. Let's move the tilt a little. I am learning how to use this camera, this new camera. Whoops, that's, is that the right way? Yeah. There. Now I can move my book up a little. There we go. Now, I was streaming earlier this evening, and I was doing a sketch of Julia Ward Howe, was it? Yeah. And in the end, I wasn't entirely happy with her. Uh, I'll show it to you, but I watched my video. I watched my stream afterwards. Now, I'm not happy with this at all. And I looked at it, and I'm going, yes, I think it's the eyes. Yes, I probably needed more shading over here so the side was a little bit brighter and more shading in there. But her eyes, and I, I knew that I could, let me get in here. I knew that I could adjust this camera so that I could zoom in more on her eyes. And what I have to do is uh, uh, take another picture. But look at her eyes here. Look at her eyes. Let me get way in here on this. Look how much space I have in there. And how little space. And there's a lot of shading in there. Maybe if I even shade a little bit more in here to round out the eye, it might help a little. But And then on her other eye here, there's just, there's very little uh, white of her eye in here. And... The eyes were bothering me anyway. This whole picture does not does not resonate with me. So I I am going to do another one. Yes, I am because I can't sleep anyway. <laughs> they always say to me, Mary, when do you sleep? When do you sleep? I sleep when I'm tired. <laughs> I sleep when I'm tired. I'm not tired. I am ready to do another sketch of her. And and I can now adjust this so that, whoops, I've got a little barb in there. <laughs> um, because I'm sketching, I'm doing multiple sketches of Barb Owen. Because by the time I put Barb Owen in my Women's Influential book, and probably the same with Julia here, is that I want it to look like her. So... Um, sometimes you just have to keep practicing, and that's what I'm going to do. I am going to start with my pencil again. I really don't want to get hooked into using the pencil. I don't want to rely on it because I do like to go out and sketch with the ink pen first. But since this lady's given me such a time, and when, as I expand her face here, I can see, yeah, yeah. Her face is a lot more round, and I can even see the hair up here. I can see she's got some light hairs in here, and she's got a lot of, um, if I zoom in on her, I don't know what you can see, but this is off a of wiki. If you wiki Julia Ward Howe, you can, you can find this picture. It's in the public domain. But they, she's got a lot of forehead wrinkles out there because she's an older lady. So this is not a her and her youth. But I do think I missed it on her eyes. And I don't generally, generally I get the eyes down. So I'm going to start with her eyes right off the bat. And I'm going to, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to sketch her eye there. So that's what I'm going to do with my pencil. Right in here. And this will be a, this will be a talking video. Um. This will be a talking video. I'm not going to fast forward this or anything. And then she's got an eyelid here, but there's a lot of shading in there. There's a lot of roundness to her eye, to her eyeball itself, because she is an older lady. And, and uh, I won't say her eyes are sunken. They don't look sunk to me, but it, you can see the shape of her eyeball in there. So I'm just going to kind of, I do think I missed it on the eyes and then just everything else missed too. 
So, and, and there's nothing wrong with not getting a likeness the first time. You know, you just keep practicing. You keep practicing until you're comfortable that you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. And I'm going to lightly shade. Now, I'm going in with light shading first here. And then her eyebrow itself does. It comes way out over here. She's got some area there. And her eyebrow does come off over this way. There's not a whole lot of room in there. There is some. But I will say this eyebrow is longer than this one. This eyebrow kind of comes like that. It kind of makes a, a lopsided upside down U. <laughs> so, but we're not going to concentrate. We're going to concentrate on this one first. And I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what I'm sketching. Let's see. I have to. This is good practice for me even to use my camera. So let me zoom in. There maybe. I'll have to keep a. I'll have to keep an eye out on my paper. That might me. I might need to come out one notch to there. Okay. And I am using a pencil. And oh, that's the other thing. I did watch my chat tonight, and I miss a lot during chat, especially when I'm not looking at chat on my phone. And there's chat going on when I'm live over on my laptop, but that's way off to my left. And when I'm concentrating on my drawing, I don't even see chat. So, but I did go back in tonight and look at it, and I noticed Beth ask if, these pencils were water reactive. And thank you, Vicki, for answering her question. These are soft pastel pencils. This is a pastel. So I wouldn't say these are water reactive in the way you would think a watercolor and ink tints would be. You can wet these and get it to spread a little, but not in the same way. Now, I was using a Stabilo pencil. This is a Stabilo pencil, and it is an Aquarelle, Aquarelle, Aquarellable pencil, which means that it is water reactive. And so when you saw me adding those dark areas and going in with my paintbrush earlier tonight, yes, a Stabilo pencil, that's a, an Aquarelle pencil, Aquarelle, like, blah, 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 you know, water reactive. It is water reactive. But these, these are not... And these are just number two Ticonderoga pencils. These are just lead pencils here. I have an R2 ink pen that the ink is water reactive, but it is better when you're using, this is just cardstock that I'm sketching on. Um, if you're using something like this with a, a pen that has water soluble ink, it is better to use like a vellum coated paper or some sort of a coated paper that will not absorb the ink. Um, a vellum coated paper, it, it, you can get mixed media paper that is vellum coated. And that's what I like to use my water, uh, my R2 pens on. I should get some of that. I'm out of it. I've got some Bristol paper. Now she's got a lot of dark, dark going in right in here in the crease and in the in here, it is dark. But can you see how much I have shortened up? Let's go back here. Make sure I'm talking since. I, I did shorten it up while I was talking, but I have shortened this area up in here quite a bit. I shaded in here. Whoops. I've shaded in here so it looks shorter, but... The, from here to here is much shorter from here to here. Um, uh, through my little pin. On here, it goes to about to here. On here, it comes way out to here. So it's, it's that, and it makes a difference. It makes a difference. That's probably about a fourth of an inch, maybe. And then by the time I get the shading in the corner of the eye here, get the shading in the corner of the eye and darken in a little of this 
eyeball and get the darkening in here. I do think the eyes is where I was primarily missing it. Her her face, I really do like to be able to expand and and uh contractor I guess you to say the the uh photograph because I like to be able to zoom in and see see what's going on here. I was not happy with the results of that, and I'm hoping that I'll be happier with this. I, I, I'm ready to sketch. I'm, I'm not ready to sleep. And then, if you look at, if you really can look at this, and let's see what I, what you're seeing here. Yeah, you can see it. See the white area here above her eyebrow. See that area right in there. That helps form her her the shape of her face too so if i can just kind of leave that with some light shading around it you you don't want it a bright white because this is not a bright white like it is over here i'm in my gallery but it it is whiter and which means that on the photograph itself you know, that's the ridge of her eyebrow there. I was not happy with this. When I saw it, I go, oh, no, it doesn't look like her. it looks like somebody. It, it was not a bad sketch. I don't think it was a bad sketch at all, but it certainly wasn't the person that I was sketching. I, I did not capture her. And that's OK. That happens. I'm not pretending to be the best in the world. I'm just pretending to work at it, work at it and practice it and and learn from my learn from my sketches. Now I am doing this standalone, so you will probably see this tomorrow morning. Hopefully I won't have to do any editing and I can just go out and Now she's got a dark area lying in here. And that's what this is meant to be. But I've got it pretty scratchy in here. Let's smooth a little of this out. There. Um, and I lost my train of thought. And then Vicki was also telling me, Vicki Brown was in the my live stream tonight. She was saying, look at the shadow on her nose. And so that's what I'm going to try to work with now. And I tend, I tend to want elongate to elongate this area more than I should. So I'm going to try to keep it, <laughs> keep it in line. <laughs> so let's give her some shadow. And she's got kind of a little shadow under her eye coming this way too. And this whole area is, this whole side of the face is kind of uh, in shadow. Mm. then we've got the nose area up here, but I'm still not happy with this eye. Let's smooth it out a little here. Yeah, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice to get things, to get a likeness and to, you know, you just keep practicing. You just keep practicing. I'm a lot happier with that. Now, let's see. Let's put some darker area in here. Going up there. Kind of going this way. Now, this is all shady in here. Kind of comes like that. Like that. Now, I know from what I was saying tonight that if you look at She's got her head is kind of, well, let's bring it down a little here. Whoops. I keep getting Barb in there. Let's move this to it. Let me move this to its own, its own uh, photo album. So I won't be getting Barb. <laughs> Copy to album, create album. I'll just put test. Test me. 
create there. I've got her in her own album, so I won't be showing anybody else while I'm... Um, what was I talking about, though? I forgot my point, <laughs> I was going to say. Well, I'll just start sketching again. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Here, her head itself, her head is kind of, kind of facing this way. Her, the tilter, I mean, her head is not fitting, facing that way. She's not looking that way. She's not looking at you straight on because you're seeing all of this side of her face. Her, her head is coming this way, maybe at a 10 degree angle, but her eyes, her eyes are in the, let me zoom in on her eyes. Her eyes are in the corner of her eyeball area on both of them. So it's kind of an interesting angle of the head. It's like she's looking she wants to look at the at you, but she's also looking over that way. It's kind of an interesting thing here. Okay, now she's, I've got to zoom back in. She's got these really interesting forehead wrinkles. <laughs> she's got this. So her eyes, as I was saying, if she was looking at you face on, her eyes would be straight. Let's straighten out my phone. But her eyes, if I put this piece of paper so that it lines up underneath her left eye here, you can see her right eye is up a bit, right in there. There's more space in there than there is here. So her eyes are kind of at a slight tilt of the head. That's what I'm saying. Her, She's kind of looking at the tilt of her head is probably about a 10 degree angle. And you can see that by her eyes. And I know on my other one, when I held this up on my sketch, I had the eyes just about on the same plane and that was bothering me too. So when I draw this left eye over here, let's just put that piece of paper there. I don't generally do this, but I, I think that this is one of my issues that I wanna put it on the same plane. And it's not on the same plane, it's the eye itself the eye itself, and there's a lot of area in here. Look at the area. If you look at her nose here, hopefully I can touch this without bopping the camera. If I make a mark here for her eye and a mark here and a mark here, this is eye area in here. This is the space between the end of her eye and the start of her other eye, and here's her other eye. If you could look at this, you would see that this area in here is almost, if not longer, this from here to here is almost longer than from here to here and from here to here. So there's a lot of space in here, and it kind of goes at a 10, 10 degree angle. So that's what I am meaning to do here. So let's do that. And I want to keep these eyes shorter. I don't want to make them as long. In fact, I can probably make this eye even shorter in here. The, the, these, uh, that's what I did, I think, wrong in my other sketches, that I had that eye. I had that eye a lot longer than what it is on here. And she's got a lot of shading going on over on this side of her eye, too. So let me go down in here. I kind of float around when I'm sketching. I just float where my my head is going, I guess. Let's see. So I kind of want I kind of want this to come in here, but I want to keep it short and I want to keep it round. Her eyes are her eyes are are round. They're not long. So Let's see if I can't accomplish that. And there's not much space in there. There's just a little space in here for the eyeball, for the for the white of her eye. And most of her eye here is shaded in. 
There may you may be able to see just a teeny bit of white in there, but not much. It's more gray than white. And then her eyelid itself does come out over here. I think a little bit more than it does in there. Well, you can kind of see it in here. I got a dark line in there. That shouldn't be so dark. That should end right in there. So let's go ahead and shade in her. She doesn't, this photograph does not show her with whites in her eyes. I kind of got a little twinkle in her eye there. I kind of like to put a little white in their eyes because I do think it makes them look more alive. Now, that eye certainly isn't not done. That looks like a cat eye. <laughs> Let's kind of shade it in. And I'm just using my number two pencil here to sketch with. So, but it is, her eye is round. Yeah, I'm not getting what I want. Looks like a cat eye. <laughs> yeah, that's a little better. I'm a little darker in there. And then there's a lot of shading going in. And her eyebrow, her eyebrow here, I almost feel like, no, I guess you can see it. I feel like zooming in one more time. Maybe I will. I'm just playing with my unlisted stream anyway. So let's just go in and come on, get to my camera control here. I want you to see what I'm doing. There. Her eyebrow here is, is uh, you can tell she's an older lady because it's getting very slack in there. Now, she's got a lot of white space. I wouldn't say it's as defined as I have it. It's kind of a soft area in there. But her eyebrow almost touches. It, it almost comes down and touches that area. And that makes her look older. So there's shading in here. You know, you lose that elasticity and your eyes start sagging when you get older. <laughs> That's where I'm headed. <laughs> so let's see if I can't. Let's see if I can't add some. Now I'm going back over here again. She's got shading under here because she's got a line which really comes way under there. She's got all sorts of shading in there. And as I expand this, you probably can't see it as much, but her eye is darker right in there. And that's what I've tried to do in here. But I have gotten rid of that little white. She's got a little white line right in there, too. And my pencil is not defining that too well. And then it picks up some more shading, very delicate shading in there. Oh, let's go. You know, you have to understand this is an old photograph. This is an old photograph. So let's see. So it isn't going to look like our photography today. Now she's got shading underneath here, coming under her eye in there. And then she's got this area right in here. It's kind of makes her look older. And she's got some, maybe not so defined there. Maybe more of a square. And it kind of shades up this way. If I could shade it. And then shades here and kind of swoops down around in there.
I'm happier with that. Let's zoom out here. I'm happier with that. I think that her eyes, the eyes, I think, were the main problem. Now, let's see if I can't get her nose. I Noses are a little bit harder for me. And she's got, it kind of comes down like this. Yeah, I, I think because I wanna I wanna draw a hard line. And noses are not hard lines, they're soft and it kind of comes in like that. And then it this falls into that ridge. Now what am I doing? Am I doing it? Okay, I haven't got this area defined yet. And it it kind of falls like, like that and comes this way. And then there's some, this is all in shading in here. And just a little bit of shading in there. And then there's the ridge area that comes here. Maybe not so much there. Okay, now. <laughs> Let's see. I think she's got a little bit more dark in there. Let's see. Her head kind of comes this way. Not very happy with her nose yet, but we'll play with it for now. Let's spand her lip here. Comes this whole area gets shady. And this area in here is shady. Now let's let's do her upper lip. Nose area in here. Like that. Now I have been going about a half an hour, about 28 minutes, and there's where I am after 28 minutes. Kind of interesting, isn't it? She's got a very definite, very definite line on her forehead here. Maybe another one kind of coming that way. She's got three of them. And then I do think her hair, her hair almost gets, her hair has a line coming this way. But it, it's almost, the, the light is shining it out. Her hair kind of comes like this. And then 
I think like this again, but I can't see it very well in the photograph. And her face in here under her eye gets very poofy. Let's get rid of this hard line here. Under here, it's it kind of here again, she's kind of got a saggy cheek, cheek, cheek. Kind of comes down. And there's more space in here. So either I don't have that. This kind of comes like that. And like that, maybe. Now, a, a sketch itself is going to be sketchy. I mean, it isn't like it's going to be smooth and watercolor. Just the very nature of a pencil sketch, you're going to see the sketch lines. Let's put some dark shades under her lips for her chin. And that darkness comes clear around like this. And then you kind of see the underneath of her chin where it's starting to come under right there. And then she's got a, a round neck in there. Yeah, I'm liking this one much better. And I can see more of the lace of her collar in here than I could before on that other sketch. It kind of comes up around like this. And I don't like... <laughs> I I can't even get it in there. I don't like uh I don't like this. Let's move here. I got I want to put that other picture in here. Let me go to where it is. What was it in downloads? Ah. Uh. I'm moving that picture here. Test me. Uh, I'm getting there. Hold on a minute. Yeah, where I moved that to. There. Okay. I moved this other picture, which is smaller. You can't see it as much, but I don't like this scarf. I just don't like that area. It just protrudes. And I, but I can see on this where her where her cap does have a definite shadow. It curves down that way. So let's see. Did I get that in that other close up one? Yeah, I did. See, look at look at her cap there. It's just a very thin white line. I had that. I had that uh, two, whoops, what I'm doing there, it's getting, it's getting, <sighs> crossing over each other here. Close my camera out, open it again. There. So very much, and I can even see her ear better in here, but that's a very white, very thin white line. I think I had that too wide. So her hair, just looking in here, here's, here's the edge of her eye and the edge of her eyeball, her eyelet, her eyebrow there. And it's all shady in there, but there's even hair starting here. And it kind of, just very light gray hair, probably. It's just kind of like that. And then you've got that very, very thin. Let's see, here's her, here's her eyeball there. Let's do it a little. And her ear is right here. So her ear actually over here starts right in there. And it kind of falls right back in there. It kind of gets lost in there. And this whole si side of her face is all in shading. 
And that's where Vicky was telling me it needs to be darker. The thing was, I wasn't hearing her. <laughs> I wasn't hearing her. All right, so it kind of comes out that way, and then it curves way in here, almost meets her, it almost meets her cheekbone, and it curves down. And you can see in here the shading as it's on the underneath, and it kind of forms that lace under here. I might have her nose a little big here. I'm going to I'm going to redo her nose. It looks a little big for me. It's okay. That's why I'm using an eraser. Yeah, a little dark area there. Yeah, so make her nose a little smaller. Make this whole area a little smaller in there. And a little smaller there. And come this way. And the lips fall in there. I just now look too big to me. <laughs> oh dear. I struggle with the nose. I always have. All right, let's just do the lips. Leave that nose alone for a while if you're going to get all frustrated. And, of course, she's got a very definite shadow in there. A very definite shadow coming <coughs> down in here. Some, some of her neck coming here, which is in shadow again. Her cheek over here is, is very round. Very round in here. And very dark. Well, dark, shadow, in shadow, very much in shadow in here. And I should probably be using the... So am I capturing her more? Am I getting her better? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just doing this in lead first. And I don't know what's going on with this headdress up here. And we'll just kind of put it in there. Probably some sort of a tie up there or something. And it comes this way mm. I've still got her eyes big I tend to make big eyes I did that on my mother too her eyes are her eyes are very big very large maybe maybe what I need to do since her eyes are large, just make her make this area larger. Make this whole area larger here. Make her head come clear out over there. That looks a little better. I tend to draw large eyes. 
Now get in there. Now I'm liking her better. I am liking her better. I'm not really not really sure about this area. Kind of a I don't like that scarf. Make it like that, I guess. And then make her headdress come out like that. This is all part of her hair. And then this scarf, this part of the white comes like that. And down. And down. I'm not sure what I was doing there. Down. And it kind of curves like that. I'm not going to get the whole thing on. And then it's kind of lacy in the back. Oh, I'm liking you better, Julia Ward Howe. Get like that. <sighs> See, and it gets lost in here. That light gets that light gets lost in here. Right in there. It gets very light in there. Okay, let's put the shading back in here. I've still got a her with pretty big eyes. Defined. <laughs> I love her eyes though. They're too big. They're way too big. I don't know why I do that. Uh, leave her. Leave it, Mary. Leave it. Let's darken this area here. Bring it up around there. There, her lip area. Shading around her nose.
And here again, I'm just using a number two pencil, but I'm a lot happier with this one than I am the other one. And I'm trying to get these forehead without making it look like a, <laughs> what do they call those bulldogs? <laughs> it's just got a few light wrinkles in there. And then maybe in there, this area needs to be shaded a little. And her nose area in here. All righty. Let's get some defining lines in here. Yeah, I think I'm getting happy with this. Happier. Not very happy with that. Lighten that up a little. I need a I need a softer lead pencil. I have them, but I don't know what I did with them. Let's go to this aquarelle. Let's put a little, let's make her eyes a little darker. A little darker eye in there. A little darkness in there. I am not unhappy with it. Now I know you guys are wanting me to make that much darker and I'm wanting a darker I'm wanting a darker um, lead pencil. I'm gonna go in with some brown sepia type. See if I can't just kind of. This is the, the soft pastel pencil. I'm just kind of smooth this out in here. And kind of under her chin here. It's kind of, kind of under her neck area there, but not too much because she's got a little white area in there. Lower 
here's the black. I'm experimenting with these. I do not do chalk and pastel a lot. Is this the one I was using? Yeah. Um, so I think I'm getting a better likeness than I did than I did earlier tonight. And I need a I need my sharpen it with my utility knife here. This is how we would sharpen it in drawing classes with the with the utility knife. What I'm really wanting to do is to add some some of her blouse in here and some of her black dress to give it a contrast. Of course, this area is all white. You think I'm getting a better likeness of her? Let's go back and add some of that brown in here. She's got white co collar coming in here. Kind of that other dress, other headdress there. Kind of Okay, I think I can live with this one. <laughs> I think I can live with this one. I think I can live with it. But I'm wondering, I'm wondering how it's going to live in my journal. Because pastel, if you don't put a fixative on it. Now, Vicki said that she doesn't put a fixative on hers in the chat. Tonight, she said she doesn't put a fixative on it because it tends to gray out the white areas. I think that's why I understood you to say, Vicki. So, uh, let's just kind of bring that there. Um, but if I don't put something on this, it's going to smear. See, I, I can smear it with my fingers. Let's put more brown in here. Whoops. See, even in there. So I can erase that. I want a heavier lead. I got an HB. What did I do with my HB pencils? Where did they run off to? I should have made sure I had them out before I... What's this? That's the Ticonderonga ones. I don't have them out. 
I don't want to run and get them. Just keep shading it, I guess. I'm just playing. Gotta play. Yeah, I want to define this, though. I'm wondering. Where's my stabilo? I'm happier with it. I'm much happier with it. Another brush.
I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I need a, I have a set of, I don't know what I did with them. They're in the other room. I didn't bring them in here. I was working with them when I was drawing. Uh, I have an HB, an 8B. This area here is entirely too dark. And I'm afraid I can't get it any. I'll ruin the paper if I try to remove any more. Could try to erase a little. It's wet. I don't want to dry it because I don't want to set it. No. Removing the paper almost. Yeah, I'm overworking it. I need a soft eraser. This is not doing the trick. See what you're seeing. It's a little better, isn't it?
And she has sort of a soft, very, very, very soft area in there.
I am sketching. <laughs> I am quiet. I'm thinking. You know, I think... I think I'm going to stop here pretty soon. Let's put some shadow in here. I'm not happy with this area, but I don't want to overwork it too much because it's already overworked. Got a definite line in there, but <laughs> this right there is way too big. Made all the difference. Alrighty. She's a challenge to draw. I is a challenge to draw, I'll tell you. Get all those tonal values in there, her forehead. Her nose, which probably could be, yeah, I hear you, Vicki, shaded a bit more in here. I need to find my my other drawing pencils that have the different weights of lead. I just got a 2B pencil. But for a 2B pencil, Stabila pencil, and a little bit of the pastel there, I keep practicing. I think I got her better here. Uh, maybe her forehead could have a little bit more definition in here a little bit more definition in there but I don't want to make her look like a bulldog either <laughs> so I've been at this for just a little over an hour I got an awful pointy eyebrow there don't I see I see things I see things we don't want her eyebrow so pointy there let's just soften that a little And I could even, to me, this area seems so dark when I look at it until I look at it in the camera. Until I look at it in the camera. And then it doesn't seem so dark to me anymore. But I, when I look at this area in here, I'm going, I can't add any more dark to it. <laughs> And this area here, probably could be a little softened a little more. Maybe this is more of our head dress in there. And this I don't even want to bother with because I'm afraid I'll mess it up completely. 
because I I got it wet and so my paper's starting to chip away in there. There's really more shading in there. Vicky's seeing me working here and she's going, yes, darken it, Mary, darken it. <laughs> I keep working with it. See, I keep seeing things, even little things like the shape here bothers me. Make that a little softer. If I can. She's got a definite, definite line of her lips in here that I don't have defined. It comes like that. Well, I'm going to keep working with her. I think I'm much better. Here, we'll look at the difference here. Let's move my pencils over. Let's move this over here. Look at the difference. <laughs> See what I mean? This one looked very much more masculine. Very much more masculine. But I don't think I quite have her yet. Um, I don't think I quite have her yet. I might do her again. I'm learning. Uh, the, the paper is just a cardstock paper, and I have to be careful with it. So, but I think I've got her better. This one just doesn't, this was a, <laughs> that was a trial. Let's, let's put this back over on this again. Let me turn this off. One thing about doing these, though, I will do these. 
I will do these and then I will come back the next day and look at it and say, well, it wasn't half bad. <laughs> but see, I can already tell how dirty my paper is getting over here. And I suppose with this chalk, with this chalk, it's going to get dirtier. And I guess I'll just plan for that. I don't really want that to happen. That's one reason why I draw, like to draw with ink because my ink, my ink dries. My ink dries. So we'll go ahead and staple this in. And I'll call it, I'll call it better than it was. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, if I can't show you the level I'm at, if you're expecting me to be a Michelangelo, you're going to be very disappointed. I'll just keep growing. Keep going and keep growing. And that's what I would say to you. If it's not good here, and it really wasn't that great there. I got some of the things in there. But that really was not a good sketch. It's a person. It's a nice sketch of a person. But, and this is getting there. I think I've got her eyes a little bit more rounded, a little bit more of the sadness to them. I think I'm happier. I'm happier with the shape of her head. So, yeah. What's this? My stapler. Let's get that out of the way. So there we go. I turned off the phone. So now, now I can go get some rest. <laughs> it's only 11.30. It's only 11.30. I'm usually up till 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. It's early for me. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you for watching. And thank you for growing with me. I'm much happier with it. Yes, I am. What do I got showing off of my phone there? Okay. What? What's this? This is the black of my book. Let's zoom out a little because I'm still, I'm still learning my camera too. Let's zoom out a little. There we go. Let's move this over a little. You can see all my pencils. I need to find my HB pencils. I mean, my 6B, 8B, 4B pencils. I don't have them out here. I've got these pastels. Now, I barely worked with the pastel. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.